about just the, uh, the effort today you got from these guys? Yeah, I'm real proud of the effort, you know. Um, I think um, there's no question that they prepared and entered the game believing and knowing that they were going to win. And then obviously uh, we were just a couple plays short at the end of the day. We just They made a couple more plays than we, do, we did. And, uh, you know, it was a difference in the game. Did they give you uh, an explanation why they didn't review O'Leary's, you know, in, in, um, incompletion or slash yeah, they, Again, I, uh, I was uh, communicating, uh, and there was about three or four different uh, views of it. Uh, and, you know, the guy that I was talking to was pretty sure they never had possession of it. So. Just the, the second half adjustments that they made, what did you see them do? Yeah, I mean, they made more plays than we did. Uh, we, we didn't, we didn't uh, you know, again, I mean, it was a hard-fought game. It, you know, it, it's not, that's what this game should be like. That, this game should be like this every year. And uh, I'm proud of our guys for fighting. Uh, and, and, and um, you know, they fought their tails off. And uh, they just, to be honest with you, Matt, they just made a couple more plays than we did. I mean, it, it, it was as physical as anything we've been involved with. And... Um, you know, hats off to them. They made a, they made a couple plays when they needed to. You talk about the last drive, just the time management. Did that follow the script that you you guys have? Or? Well, we were in good shape. Uh, you know, we had three timeouts in, in uh, a minute thirty. Um, obviously, after the made first, Brad took a little bit too much time on the ball there, and then um, um, I think he got a little confused with the look, and we had to use a timeout after after uh, an incomplete, I believe it was. So that was disappointing, but. It didn't have any bearing on the fact that it was third and nine and fourth and nine, I believe. So uh, we didn't we didn't make a play. I think we got hit on third and nine, and then um, we got intercepted on fourth. Not having uh, Chicken and D on there, uh, what kind of loss was that, and how they look right now? Um, again, it's too early to tell, but uh, you know that was a big loss. I mean, both those guys were playing really well, and, and not having Gus as much as we wanted to run the ball, I think that that hurt. You know, we uh, Gus was kind of a game time decision. He just didn't look like. He was where he needed to be. A lot of fans were looking at this as a show me game. They wanted to see how far the team in advance. It's Louisville. They wanted to see how far they've come under your domain. Um, is there any solace in coming this close, playing so close, so hard? Uh, not in that locker room right now. Mm -hmm. Nope. Got to make, got to make a couple more plays. It's as simple as that. You know. Uh, we turned it over a couple of times. Uh, they made uh, they made a couple more plays than we did, and uh, that's it. How uh, Brad's play overall uh, first half, just the way he was finding the middle field. He's doing a good job. Uh, again, we're asking him to do a lot. Uh, that's a big stage and a big moment. I think uh, we certainly can take from this that uh, it's not too big for him, and he and he, uh, he grew up a lot, you know, this season. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, we, just, uh, we just needed to finish it better. Uh, you know, we, we stayed aggressive with our play calling. We, we left too many X plays on the field on offense. We really did. A couple of overthrows, a couple, you know, that, that we did not connect on, and uh, it came back to hurt us. Obviously, the, uh, the turnovers, the, the uh, blocked extra point, the missed field goal, those, those mistakes obviously cost you just – I guess in a game like this, you can't afford to have those. Can't, can't, can't make those mistakes in a game like this. You know, we we we, uh, we hooked a, a pretty close field goal. Um, you know, Stan has a you know catches a slant, and uh, I mean, he looked like he got us about 20, 25 yards, and then we then we put it on the ground. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm exactly correct, but I would think we would have been on the 35 yard line there. You know, so we're right, we're knocking on the door again there. So. Um, again, there's in a game like that. There's there's a number of plays that uh, we needed to make, and um, we just came up a little bit short. Field position in the second half, um, they got two pretty big 15-yard penalties that that helped them uh, field position-wise. That yep. seemed pretty huge. Yep. Um, no question in uh, the one that we had that that you know obviously backed us up, and we ended up getting 40 yards on the field and were able to swing it there, but. You know, if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, have the 15-yard penalty there, then you're you're in much.
much better shape. So, uh, yeah, two, uh, two tough ones there, face mask and uh, a late hit out of bounds. With Duke in the second half, was it cramping? Did he get hurt? Or? Yeah, I think it was a cramp. Um, I don't know uh, specifically, but it, it seemed like it was a cramp. At least I know it was early on. I don't, I don't know if it, if it became something else. But, um, again, he's playing really hard. Obviously, a lot of energy um, spent the emotional part of the game. And um, just, you know, obviously, it would have been nice to have Gus just to spell him a little bit more. How the job that Eric did today, I, mean, I think he was in there almost every play for you. Amazing. I mean, that guy, that guy's a warrior. Eric Flowers, that guy, that's crazy what he did. Played a really good game, you know, worked his tail off to get back, uh, you know, after surgery. And, uh, you know, it wasn't too big for him. He, he, uh, he played his ass off and he was ready to go. Any other questions for Coach? Okay, thank you.